Okay, this is video part three, I believe. I get mixed up in my parts. However, painting the helmet, um, I use body filler to fill in little light coats of body filler. You don't need nothing heavy. You don't want it cracking on you. All you're trying to do is just fill in the little dents and dings so that when you paint it, It'll come out looking like it was store bought or that it came that way. So little coats of body filler. And then in my next part, I'll be priming it with filler primer by Rustoleum. The primer is going to show me where all the imperfections that in my little body work or whatever you want to call it on the helmet see whether I still have to sand it down, add some more Bondo. It need to be smooth and flush all the way around. Like it's a brand new helmet before you start painting. Because your paint is only going to be as good as your body work. If you do body work on cars, any paint I tell you that, your paint is only going to be as good as your body work. If your body work is shoddy and you still see lumps and dents, then that's what you're going to see in the paint. So you got to work with it until you can get it filled in and get everything nice and smooth and flush. Take a lot of sanding. And um, in the next part, it should be primed and um, almost ready for paint. Master Auto Installation.